you guys, this is insane. We're in Irwin Lake, guys. This side of town, the way other side of town that doesn't get as like as much snow. So we're gonna do a, a valley tour, guys. I decided to put my phone on Do Not Disturb right now for the next probably 45 minutes. We're just gonna do a nice drive, man. This is a, un unbelievable. I've got to do it. So we're gonna go through Baldwin, so you guys can see the the typical snow rule in effect. This is Baldwin side, but Baldwin is not gonna have as much snow as as this place, right? Oh my God, guys, unbelievably gorgeous. I am so in awe right now. It's just spectacular. Oh man, look at the look at the snow berms to the left, dude. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is just magnificent. Oh my gosh. It is so beautiful. We're at Irwin Lake, guys. Oh man, I can't wait to get this uploaded. I am so excited. I am so excited. This is the first time I've ever like put my business aside, been like, you know what? You guys can wait, dude. We gots to do this. We gots to do this. Uh uh. Gots to do this. Man, I am so elated with how much snow is out here. And guys, I gotta tell you, I've been slipping and sliding all over the place today. We've had to use X mode. There's a video I'm gonna upload with me using X mode today for the first time ever. I had to do it. The road I was on was so steep and just so hairball with all the ice and snow. Um, and then one left turn I made, like I made a left turn onto a downhill slope and funny enough, that downhill slope, um, like my car caught the slope and just started sliding down without me even turning. And that was kind of scary, but it caught real quickly, caught some traction. So I was very fortunate for that. But guys, this is Highway 38. Okay, look at this. And for a little while, I'm gonna just try to shut up, except for when I have to point stuff out to you guys because it's just so pretty. It's 23 degrees, 3.28 p.m. Yes, yes. And then when we get up here, we're gonna turn. Um, I think we're actually gonna go down Zaka Road to go to the back way to Baldwin. Or actually, no, you know what? We'll 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 do the the, uh, the main drag so you guys can see with your own eyes. Because when we get through Baldwin, we're coming out right where Highway 18 on the back side enters. So, oh, CHP in front of us. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, brown cow! All right. So, well, we're not doing anything wrong. We ain't speeding. At least I think that's CHP. What do you guys think? Looks like CHP to me. Well, anyway, we're going 27 miles an hour. Oh, that's a, that's, that might not be a CHP in front of us. Somebody with chains on that just doesn't look like a good job of being put on. So I don't think that's CHP. But guys, look at how much snow we got over here. We got a little break in the clouds above us. So this is cool. This is cool, man, huh? Liking it a lot, huh? All right. Seriously, guys, I'm so excited because we haven't had this much snow in a couple years. Oh, look at how beautiful those cute doggies are. Oh, my gosh. Dude, everything is just beautiful in this type of weather. I'm so excited. I am so excited. I got to roll down my windows a little bit so the phone doesn't overheat so we can get the whole video. Ah! We got these snow berms to slide into if we get a little loose, so that's good. Uh, we got to worry about people not stopping at stop signs because a lot of these signs you can't even see anymore. They're just plastered with ice and snow. But look at this beautiful view right here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's just so gorgeous, guys. Oh wow. Look at that. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is what I'm talking about, man. I could die right now and I'd be so happy. Well, I mean, not for dying, but I mean, I'd, I'd never mind. I'd be good. <laughs> I'm gonna shut up because it's too majestic.
that's gorgeous. They got a good foot of snow over here too. It's very, very nice. I can't wait to see the uh, the Big Bear Dam area, guys. That's gonna be damn cool. Really looking forward to that. Oops. So if I hit the brakes right here, I'm gonna go sliding off to the right. So I just figured that out, so that's good. We don't wanna do that. So right now we're on what's called East Big Bear Boulevard, guys. Wow, it's so unbelievably pretty, you guys. Holy moly. Get just a, look at look at it, in the middle of the street. Wow. idiots dude I'm telling you dude like I don't like seeing anybody get hurt but if their car got a little smashy smashed by, by someone else then that's that's all good oh wow hello jeez Louise smoky alright oh my gosh it's so incredible over here so we're entering Baldwin now guys and when we get to the furthest point where like there's less snow, I will show you guys. Obviously you can tell it's just less and less now as we go, but yeah. That's a cute house. That is a cute house right there. All of these. Back up. So if you see this much snow over here, I can't imagine how much over by the dam has. Maybe 50% more than this. That'd be that'd be nice. Just 
beautifully untouched snow. Look at that, just gorgeous. Just gorgeous, you guys. Wow. God, I get any more excited, I'm gonna get a boner. Jeez. This is intense. Beauty. Just blown away, guys. So we're coming up to the part of town that gets the least amount of snow. That's probably gonna be right at about the end of Baldwin, okay? So when we make a left on Highway 18, in case I forget to tell you guys, that's probably the, the least snowy part of town, or Bear Valley. And yes, I know I'm all over the road, but. Then look over to this side, all the horse ranches and stuff. It's just so beautiful. Whoa. Wow. Wow, wow. Gosh, that's so pretty, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just everything over there. That's over by where I live, on the other side of those hills. Straight ahead. Unbelievable, guys. So beautiful. Boop. Snow plow. It's the plow. So, as you can see, we are getting less and less snow over here. John McLean. Less snow over here. Come on, Mr. McLean. Alright, let's see here. That was a really bad impression of the bad guy from, uh, <clears throat> from, uh, oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh. Why? What is wrong with me? Besides a million things. So this is Baldwin, guys just so pretty and we're getting a little snow coming down right now look at the horsies in the snow the horsies in the snow yeah so they got a good 10 inches over here guys 9 10 inches at least they did well that's why I'm so interested to see what the other side of town is going to look like at the dam hopefully traffic's not too much of a nightmare but we got to do this guys because it's going to be beautiful it's going to be beautiful in every single way I will drive us down Oh It's gonna be beautiful Never see I bet that place straight ahead has a nice view, huh? So beautiful out here, unbelievable. We're getting some snow again, as I said. You can see the snow cloud straight ahead. Look at that cloud that is just descending like crazy straight ahead. That's a big little patch of snow that we're gonna be driving into, that's cool. So keep your eyes on that, guys. Right there, keep your eyes on that. That's gonna be cool for us to drive through. Woo! And guys, I'm not, I don't have chains, and these are the stock tires from Irvine Subaru. Irvine Subaru is not expecting people to be driving in the mountains right there, so it's not like they have snow tires on here. These are stock. But look at the snow cloud. Look at the snow right there straight ahead. That's so cool, guys. Wow. 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 Oh. Oh. Joey Butterfuck over here. 
guys. So I got my windows rolled down like a schmuck, but that's okay. You guys deserve it. I'll freeze. I'll get some frostbite. It's fine. As long as we get the footage, right? As long as we get the beautiful footage. So I would strongly suggest anybody who has any trepidation of driving on this type, in these type of conditions, then please, please, please go ahead and get the chance. Because I'm having kind of a hard time. Well, for me. But I'm driving like, like a champ, of course. But So if you make a right here, you go down the hill, guys. Down Highway 18, but we're making a left. We're heading back to Big Bear Lake. So, even though you don't see any snow on the road right here, guys. Okay, look, this is the least snowy part of town. Look at how little snow they have. Look at this. There's, they got like a dusting. How funny is that? And then just like, but wow, it's just so cool. Look at this cloud in front of us, guys. Wow, I wish I could do a live feed right now. Damn it. Son of a biscuit. Anyway, so that's that. Oh, my God, it's just so beautiful. Oh, my God, dude. I feel like Brendan Fraser when he was doing that movie um, Bedazzled when one of the characters he played was some guy who's just like overly sensitive about everything and the sunset just makes him bawl his eyes out. Well, that's how I feel right now about this, dude. <laughs> like, I'm not going to be bawling, don't worry. But this is just beautiful. I came up on these guys a little hot. Didn't realize they were going seven miles an hour. So I will have plenty of time to pass. You want to let me pass? No? Okay. <clears throat> well, I appreciate the signal. So once this other car passes, then we're gonna be off like a prom dress. Guys, look at that. That's that cloud that, that we just went through that is giving us these few snowflakes right now. Pretty cool. Pretty damn cool, guys. Pretty damn cool. So, obviously, we're not in a hurry, so we don't have to rush anything, guys, but... Yeah. Just never be in a hurry in these conditions. Because it can jump up to bite you in the ass. In the ass. You don't want to go over the side on the left there, guys. I mean, it's not that big of a fall, but... It would just suck. And if you get too close to the right, guys, if you get too close to the right, those ditches will pull you in. So try not to get too close. Try to stay as close to the center. Well, yeah, actually, I don't know if, uh, if that's actually the best advice, but I try to stay closer to the center. Even though there's more snow and ice on the center and on the shoulder, it's just safer for me, I feel, because I don't want to go in that ditch under any circumstance. Oh man, this is so pretty, guys. So I'm looking for moon, oh my gosh. Look at that snow shower right over there. You guys see that? It's like dumping right there. Right there, look at that. How cool is that, guys? It's just dumping right there. Wow, in that little spot, that is so cool, guys. So anyway. I gotta shut it off for a second and then turn it back on, hang on. All right, so we're back. Sorry about that. When I touch the screen to zoom in on that snowfall right there, man, it's really dumping on that one spot. That is so cool. But once I did that, my phone started like trying to focus in on some other stuff and, and then it kept the focus aspect on the screen and therefore I had to redo it. Stupid, but that's what happens with this stupid iPhone.
here, so we will be able to pass it. But look at how cool this looks. There should be a moon bow somewhere, dude, because it's uh, moon. It's it's snowing and the sun's out, and yeah. So where is that moon bow? I'm trying to find it. If you guys spot it, let me know. Let me know where. It's just such a beautiful day, guys. It is so beautiful today. Wow, look at that. Just everything today is just awe-inspiring. Like that big dumping we're having over there. And this over here, the clouds over here. There's gotta be a moon bow somewhere, guys. Where is this thing? Or a, a snow bow, a moon bow. I keep saying moon bow. What's wrong with me? All right. You can tell over there it's snowing a lot. Look at that! Look at that snow shower right there. How cool is that, guys? Straight ahead. Wow, that is so freaking cool, guys. We're getting some really cool meteorological stuff today, and I really hope you guys really enjoy this. This is awesome. Awesome. Anyway, peace out. Uh, I'm gonna focus on the road because I'm gonna try and pass this, these two in just a moment. But to the right, it looks like there's a little shoulder. That's kind of a little bit of a ditch, guys. It might not look like it because there's so much snow, but that's a ditch. So if you try to pull over right there, you're it's going to suck you into the ditch. And it's not the biggest ditch at this very part, but just up here, a few feet, it becomes pretty, pretty bad. So... I mean, I don't expect any, like people with chains on to drive faster. Gosh, no, I wouldn't want you to. But guys, look at that. That's just so we're driving into the snow now. But look at just how incredibly beautiful that is. It's just insane. All right, so up here, once we get around this 40 mile an hour sign, then we'll have a good view up ahead, and we'll be able to. Uh, well, nope. There's a car. Where's he going, man? I just didn't expect too many people to be coming this direction. All right, so after this car, we're gonna be good. Just kind of go a little bit for a moment. Alright, we good. Now we're going the speed limit. But we're not going to go this fast for long. We're going to slow it down. But I just wanted you guys to see that this is the speed limit. We're going 40 miles per hour. And we're getting some, we're driving into some good snow now. This is fantastic, guys. This is fantastic. Lau, 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 lau. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh oh. What we got up here? What we got going on here? We got some little accidents. Accident. No, maybe not. Just people like stop. Oh, stopping in the middle of the road. Putting on chains in the fucking middle of the road, dude. What a. Ugh. Sorry, guys, I cussed. Didn't mean to, but I did. Totally didn't mean to. Freaking A. Just so irritating, dude. People can pull over to these side roads, but they stop in the middle of the road. Just so irritating. And they have huge ass trucks, too. It's even more mind blowing. 
overcompensating for their little schlongs. All right. I'm just jealous because I don't have a big truck. <laughs> so I'm just a jealous, jealous guy. 24 degrees and uh, we are we are off, brother. So right now, I, we're at 35, but I'd say 30, how it was a little bit back there, is probably the safest bet right now. But obviously, just, just drive whatever you're comfortable driving. Um, you know, Don't be preoccupied with what other drivers like me are doing and stuff. Just make sure that you're driving for your own comfort level because I don't want you guys to be scared driving up here. And like, don't worry, as I said, about drivers like me up here who, who really know how to for the most part, handle this stuff as I'm about to crash watch. But uh, like, just don't worry about us. You you drive under your skill level and it's it, it's all good. Safety is the number one thing. Safety is the number one thing. And just keep, we just want to keep you guys safe. So right here I could slide a little bit, let's see. It's like, get off the road! Sorry, I've, I've got to keep yelling at people like that, dude, because, uh, and you guys should do that too. Like, dude, like, instead of pulling, pulling over right here, like, turn down that street or something, like, five feet, so at least you're not in the lane. Like, it's just amazing to me, but I'll shut up now because I'm really getting irritated. Wow, look at that. It's, so the phone's going to overheat because it's being smashed by the sun. We need to just go a little further so the sun will be hiding behind the clouds again so I can put the phone back up because I don't want to drive holding the phone. I want to focus on the road. I mean, I am focusing on the road, but I'd rather have both hands on the wheel. So this is... <clears throat> um, division. All right, so I'll bet you a million bucks this guy turns left at the next stop sign. Making the left here, wow, very cool. I've always wanted to like stay in one of these houses over here. That's like that cool little neighborhood that, that you see when you're driving between Stanfield Cutoff and Division. Anyway, the sun's beginning to hide behind the cloud because it's getting thicker over there. And we are on our way to uh, what should be the snowiest part of town, guys. So let's see, let's go see. straight there really shouldn't be really many cars going that direction for the rest of this drive we should be pretty damn good pretty solid oops 
Oops. Don't tell me the guy behind. Okay, good. The guy behind me made a left. Good. He was cool. He was passing everybody right there with me. So was the guy right, right behind him. <laughs> yes. So this is the lake over here to the left, and there's a trail right there and the lake right there. Yeah, dude, I'm very, very weird when we get a lot of snow. And when we don't have snow. But more weird when we have a lot of snow. You know, I'm really gonna try to be quiet. I'm gonna ruin the scene. Coming up to where that Jeep was over on its side, in that ditch to the left, remember guys, a couple days ago? That ditch is gone. Man, if there would have been this much snow, that guy would have been okay. Cross country skier, woo! Woo! Twenty two degrees. No, this is where he was right here. In, in the ditch to the left right there. Poor guy. Oh, thank you, brother. Thank you. Skin guys, 22 degrees. And we're behind the snowplay, the deep lap. The snowplay. The snowplay. Well, you guys can see there's a little bit more snow over here than that part of Baldwin, remember? 
There's a lot more snow over here than that part of Baldwin, but that part of Baldwin got hammered, which means that this side of town. And the further we go this direction, we're gonna get more and more snow, you shall see. One of my favorite two houses right here in this town. Love them. Look, here's a little lake shot. You can't see across right there because it's snowing so hard. Well, you can see parts of across, but parts of the other side. Parts of across. What? 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 I'm gonna shut this off for, well, actually screw it. You guys will get real, real, real tough stuff. Thank you. Thank you, appreciate it. Really like, like it when they do that. It means a lot to me. And look how slow this guy's going. He's going like three. That's okay. Whatever makes you comfortable, bro. Whatever makes you comfortable, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. And you always got to show love when, when they're kind enough to do that for you. Because they don't have to do that. And they can really ruin your morning when you're or afternoon when you're trying to get somewhere and you're stuck by some inconsiderate person. So it's very nice that we're dealing with some considerate people today. It's good. So yeah, look, the snow berms are getting higher. Oh, look at the lake, man, look at the lake. I wish this was one of those lakes that's called like Lake, Lake Winnipesaukee or something, <laughs> you know? I don't know, where you can go ice fishing, and stuff I've never done but I'd love to do. I see that street red robin I get hungry God damn it I want a burger a burger a burger gosh imagine having to drive up that but look at those snow banks on the side there straight ahead those things are like three feet tall Yeah, the road. <laughs> Someone didn't like that too much. Like, hell no. Screw you, sign. <laughs> Tell me what to do. So the other day I had to make a, a, a delivery up this hill to the right. Wow, so nice. So we're about to go into downtown Fonskin, folks. Yes, just downtown phone skin, right? Speed limit through here is 25, and I am going that speed right now. As I said, you don't need to go the speed limit, drive whatever's comfortable for you. In these kind of conditions, the speed limits just uh it's you drive whatever you're 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 absolutely comfortable with and look at how much snow they got over here this is fun skin folks once i once again don't blink as i always say look at that sign change required four-wheel drive with snow tires okay carry chains wow it's a beautiful little Oh my gosh, look at this guys, it's so pretty, so pretty, and so much snow. Just magnifique, huh? Okay, 
so I slammed on the brakes and I just went straight, so that's good. I like to do that on uh, some roads just to see which direction my car is going to start sliding because I can't tell if I'm on the upslope or the downslope. If I hit him now, we would go right into the right, right there, for sure. Yep. <laughs> Look at how much snow there is over here. You can, some of these signs are all the way up to the sign. That's really cool. The snow's all the way up to the sign. That's really cool. Simply marvelous. So you guys see the Big Bear snow rule. I mean, look over here and then rewind right now to over where Highway 18 and Baldwin Lake meet right there on, on the back. There was like a dusting, <laughs> like just a little blanket. Over here, it's just a dumpy. Oh, look at the coyotes. Look at them. What are you guys doing? Looking for food? You're looking for food, you little bastard. There's one of them. Hey, buddy. Hey, how you doing? Damn, your ear's all messed up, bro. Damn, and then this guy went right up here. There were two of them. They were scavenging by each other. That's so amazing. Wow. Guys, I mean, everything just looks so perfect out here. cold to be having my hand out like that. It's a 22. But guys, look at how much snow they got over here. Wow. All the signs are covered almost. It's really, really pretty. Really pretty. Man. Oops. Slow down. At least we've got all these snow birds. Just a little bit cold. <laughs> so that's gonna be it for the windows down right now. Because I'm also worried about breaking uh, the inner workings of the window, the mechanics. So, gosh, there should be a snowbow somewhere. Come on, huh? Give me a snowbow. That just looks like a valley that you can walk across. That is so cool. That is so cool. Man, you guys, I'm so excited we got to do this. I know it's gonna be a long ass video, but boy, it's gonna be so beautiful. One of the most beautiful videos I've made up here because of how just, how just everything looks. Look at that, guys. Unbelievable. This is Southern California. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Man, look at these berms, they're just getting higher and higher the closer we get to the dam. Which is, I tell you guys, this is, we're getting close to the snowiest part of town. Like that neighborhood across the way right there, Boulder Bay, 
over there, they get a lot of snow too. They get a lot of snow too. They're kind of socked up against the mountain, but they go straight. We're just It's really steep right there, right down to the bay. And there's, oh, it's just beautiful over there. We are entering the snowiest part of this valley at the at the low elevation. I mean, look at all the snow, guys! It's just insane. Okay, so before we get to the light, we're gonna hit the brakes again so we can just kind of get a feel again for what's going on. so much fun. I hope I don't get stuck right here. Go. Whoa there buddy. <laughs> wow that is deep. Woo. <laughs> that was so much fun you guys. Oh, let me turn this on. Look at how much snow the dam got guys. See? This is what I'm talking about. About the most snow in town. You guys like dude. Every time. Every time guys. Just so beautiful, unbelievable. Wow. Wow, guys. some stuffed crust pizza at home, I forgot. Woo! Two day old stuffed crust pizza isn't too bad, right? Let me know, guys. I'm eating it anyway. While we drive through the tunnel of snow. Oh, shit! <laughs> that guy probably wasn't expecting me coming from this direction. That would have been cool if he would have hit us and be a brand new car. Wait, this is a brand new car. Wow, look at the snow. Look at this driveway. There's no way this guy's getting in his driveway. Not a chance. It's like five feet high. Huh. Holy moly. Most snow we've seen all year, guys, for the past two years. Wow. Look at this! Look at these snow berms. Holy crap, guys! Oh crap, man! Yeah, this is great. So I'll take the phone back off the holster once we're in Boulder Bay, so as you guys can see, it's 21 degrees, 4:15 p.m. My luck, there'll be a car coming around this corner. Yes. Now let's look down this whole way, see if I can just kind of... Oh my gosh, you can't even see down there because these berms are so high. Woo! Man, tomorrow's the last day below freezing, guys. Or wait, no, it's supposed to be the first day above freezing. We're going to hit like 35 tomorrow. Finally, after like a week and a half below freezing. It's going to be awesome. Can't wait for the, snow, the ice to melt off the bottom of my car because it is caked on there. Just look at the people. Look at this, guys. Oh, my God. Just look at that. 
just magical. No, it is high. It is up there. It's just piled. And today we're only expecting a total of one to three inches more. But you know what, dude? I'm super grateful we got what we did. This is cool. approaching Boulder Bay folks. Get the brakes down the hill real quick. There we go. Nice and straight. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Do it again. And again. And one more time. And we're good. Gosh guys, there's so much snow over here. So as I said, Boulder Bay is probably one of the snowiest neighborhoods over here to the left. All those houses up there are in Boulder Bay. But this place gets smashed with snow right here. Yeah, look at that. This is beautiful, guys. Just gorgeous. You guys can see some more snow clouds coming in. You guys see that? The snow clouds are rolling in over the hill. So that's the next little band coming through. Very cool. Very cool. I'm just not a 49er fan. I'm not a anything San Francisco fan. Except the city itself. Or years ago, it, it used to be a gorgeous city, but anyway, it's neither here nor there. Look at all the snow, guys. This is beautiful. I always liked that place right there. It was just a real estate company, and now I don't know what it is but man all just everything just looks so beautiful you guys so lucky to live here
Okay, so we're gonna go down some steep stuff through here <clears throat> because we don't want to deal with traffic right here. <clears throat> so we're gonna go through the steep stuff. So we gotta go to this street called Cliff Drive up here. And that one's pretty gnars. You know what? We're just gonna stay straight on this. I think we'll I think we'll be we'll be good. Cliff drive's kinda gnars. Here's Cliff. You know what? We're gonna do it. Screw it. We're gonna put or you know what? Are we gonna use X mode or no? Man, look at how steep it is though. Oh man. Yeah, we're gonna be good. Maybe not. Maybe not. So yeah, so we're gonna X mode it right here. Alright. I'm excited to test the X mode on this long drive. We did it a little bit ago. But it's okay. If we lose uh, control, I'm just gonna intentionally go into one of these snow berms, so we're gonna be good. Wow, X mode's doing something. Because I just had my foot on this. As soon as I tap the brakes, it would just lock up. So it was kind of an issue. But yeah, X mode, I don't have my foot on the gas or brakes. Check it out. So it's got this thing that I'd never see pop up there. And then up here, that for the X mode. And that's the button right there. And yes, my car needs a wash. Oh, this is pretty awesome, guys. It like knows when it's starting to get away from itself too. That's really cool. If I would have stayed straight, we would have been a lot further ahead, but you know what? Sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. And yes, hit the gas a little bit, see what that does. Okay. Yeah, now let's, let's let Exmo take back over again. So cool, guys. So cool. Wow. Because, guys, this is treacherous right now. I mean, it's dangerous out here. And I really don't want any of you driving up here without chains. Because I don't want you to hurt yourselves. This is not good. This is not good. Oh my gosh, dude, these Barneys. Come on, Barneys. No, no more X mode. We're out of it. Boom. Guys, that was so cool, man. I'm really happy with X mode. Now when I'm really scared, we'll be good. And when I get scared, it's, it's not a good thing, eh? Wow, this is gonna be a long video, but it's gonna be so pretty. I love you, you love me. We're a happy family. Okay. Oh my gosh, dude, this is just retarded. We were gonna go through the village, but I don't wanna go behind people who are gonna go five miles an hour. We gotta get this video uploaded anyway. And also look straight ahead, look at Look at those those clouds. Those clouds are not going our way, but just look at how dark and ominous looking those are. So gorgeous, guys. Oh my God, it's so gorgeous. So anyway, you guys rock. It's a real pleasure doing this for you guys. Today we both played hooky for an hour and a half just now on my job. I just, uh, I think the excuse, I don't know, I don't know what excuse I'm going to use if I missed any phone calls. Because when the phone's on Do Not Disturb, it doesn't notify me of any phone calls unless I look. So that's good. So guys, Robin Hood Resort right here with, and Nottingham's Tavern. Love that place. One of my favorite hotels in town. So now we're on, well, we're on Big Red Boulevard and the next stop is gonna be home. I love you guys, man. This was a lot of fun. This was a lot of fun, man.
this guy in front of me must be local because he knows how to drive up here. Hey, why don't you park in the middle of the road? Oh my god, dude. But how can you stay upset when it's just this gorgeous everywhere? You look, oh my gosh, it's just magic. We are on Brownie Lane. It runs parallel with Big Bear Boulevard, one block to the uh, west. Right behind Carl's Jr. Oops, lock up, lock up. Oh no. Thank goodness, that's a busy street that we just locked up on. We would have been fine because I was uh, I was gonna be okay, but it was just a little close call. Oh, so earlier today, someone recognized me from the YouTube channel. How cool is that? Dude, I, 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 man, if you guys aren't, aren't going to go, then I'm going to go. Guys, we made it in one piece. Barely, but we did. A long, scary drive, folks. It'll take like three days to upload, but it's gonna upload. So we're gonna go do donuts in this parking lot later for sure. Unless they get the snow plow and clear it out, then I'm gonna be upset. Really hope they don't freaking pull that maneuver. All right, guys, peace out. We're back in Moon Ridge. We'll pull back into my neighborhood just so you guys can see what the snow looks like in the hood. In the hood. I'll get a little loose real quick. There we go. Yeah. Oh, we're still loosening. This is so cool, guys. And this isn't even that much snow. Like, my first two years living here, we had a lot more snow. And last season sucked. And this season so far hasn't been that great until now. But just incredibly beautiful, guys. I live in a little magical little, like, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, just a cool little place, dude. 
It's just a cool little place. Look at how deep these these snow berms are to the side. I don't know. We we may have like a like over a foot of snow over here. This is so cool. <laughs> it's like a ping pong. All right, so put the phone up for a moment while we back in, and then uh, yeah, right on, guys. February twenty first, twenty nineteen. Big Bear Lake, California, just went for a nice snow drive. Deepest snow we've been in in a couple years. All right, peace out guys, I love you a lot. Bye bye.